Good morning guys! It is extremely, extremely slow today and we're flying Shep and uh, I'm crewing for Gary, uh, I'm going to be on retrieve um, and uh, it doesn't look as though the wind is going to be doing very much at all today um, 2,000 feet, it's doing at about 3 mile an hour it's flat calm here, so it's ideal conditions uh, for a uh, countryside flight it wouldn't be ideal conditions for, uh, say, a built-up area flight because if you think about it, if you've only got three mile an hour up top and the city, um, the city is five miles uh, by, say, five miles, you haven't got enough uh, wind to overfly the city. So, as I say, it's ideal conditions for a country flight, which is where we are today. And let's see where we end up. I think we're going to end up less than, uh, possibly less than three miles away from uh, launch site. So, catch you in a bit. So basically my job as Crown Line all I'm doing is I'm literally controlling how fast the balloon comes up. If I don't pull hard enough, and if I don't resist enough, the balloon can actually flop over the top of the retrieve vehicle. So all this line does is just slow her down. And then the crown line just sits on one of the low tapes and connects down to the basket. There you go, she's buoyant. Yep. Do you, want to do, do you want to do the check the ropes or? Yeah, can do right. Okay. Well, what, before you do that, no, yes. no, no, right. Right, are we ready? That boy in. Ready? Let's go. See you later, guys. See you later. I can walk faster than that. Don't you drop my keys. <laughs> I won't drop your keys. <laughs> Well, we're going to use yours for it. Oh, fuck, you haven't got a tow bar. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. See you later. See you later, Rob. As I said, I think uh, English drove, Gary. Uh, English drove that way. I think it's... I don't know, we might go that way when we go up. A minute. Yeah, we're going to... Yeah. Nice tranquil day for a flight. So just a bit of a fact file for you. Shep was built uh, 2017. She's a 120, uh, which equates to around 120,000 uh, cubic foot of air inside that balloon. And I think she's done just over... Right! Uh, I think off the top of my head she's done about 60 hours now. If not, I apologise Gary. They'll probably, uh, he'll correct me I'm sure later on. So as you can see Gary's still within the confines of the field so not very much distance covered. So it'll be interesting to see what it's doing up top. That's Gary, uh, Gary deploying the uh, turning vents so that the basket is facing uh, lengthways on the general direction that it's heading in. 
Right, I've got to uh, secure the uh, trailer and everything else that's left on the field and lock the gate so no one gets in and uh, follow where she goes. It took around 10 minutes but I've managed to secure the fan in the trailer and the spare tank and now all I got to do is uh, secure that the trailer door won't come down. That's now locked in place. Close the trailer up. And uh, GD's only got about uh, 500 yards that way. Uh, he's just gone down to do an approach. So yeah, not very far. Uh, right. Right, I'm in Gary's car and I'm ready to retrieve. Just gonna put the radio on and check that he can receive me. Excuse me, I'm out of breath. Retrieve to GBD, are you receiving? Sorry, what was that? Yeah, just checking you can hear me, over. Cheers for that, right, on the chase. So, now that I've established uh, there is communication between the balloon and me, I can now start on my way. Just done my uh, last minute checks, I've made sure that all the vehicles are safe and secure. And next job is to secure the gate. There's a rule in ballooning that uh, you must uh, close gates after you've uh, been through, even if the gate is already open. And uh, there you go, there's Gary over there. Uh, <laughs> um, I always have a rule that I close all the gates that I come through uh, because you never know, there could be livestock in the field and uh, they could escape. So, I'll just close this and uh, get on my way. Gate secured, field all checked, and we're ready on the chase. I think Gary's gone about half a mile from me. So, on the chase. Only, uh, I've only travelled about uh, three miles and taken a stop and uh, that's where they are. Gary's only travelled about, I'd say, three quarters of a mile away from where he's launched from. And as you can see, he's uh, not moving very fast at all. Uh, he is moving, but only at about one mile an hour. <clears throat> uh, other responsibility um, as a retrieve driver is uh, obviously when you stop um, to see where the balloon's going, uh, park safely. And uh, I like to make sure that I'm completely off the road, as you can see. I'm going to hang about here for about um, 10 minutes or so and because um, he's not moving very fast at all. Uh, I'm not even sure where he's going to end up. Um, this takes us to Crowland. Um, and at that speed, he ain't going to reach Crowland in four hours. So, yeah. Interesting one. Um, it's always fun to be on a calm flight, uh, when I say fun, uh, it can be, uh, quite, uh, interesting, um, as I say, especially if you're over a, a town or a city, uh, and you run out of gas, yeah, that's fun. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I thought you might. Rather than go, I think that'd be the easiest, don't you? 
Yeah, I mean, you're heading that general direction, aren't you? Yeah, yeah shame about the power wires, otherwise I could have caught her here. But, never mind. As I say, that field I pointed out earlier, I think Gary's going to go for it. Nice direct, directly above now, Shep. There's the parachute, as you can see up there. Okay. Yeah, so. Ooh, double burning. Nice. Gary, do you want me to see if I can go down there and catch you or what? Yeah? All right, I'll see if I can uh, go down uh, the field where we where he landed um, last time and uh, see if I can catch him. So I'm coming down a uh, dirt track. Shep is just to the uh, right of me and uh, I'm gonna try and catch her just on this uh, bit of scrubland here. I think here's a safe bet. So as you can see, there's Shep and she's coming directly this way and hopefully going to catch her on this bit of scrubland. Always take the retrieve vehicle with the keys with you as well. Right. So here she comes. I'm not really going to have to do very much. Wind is so, so light that she'll just touch down on here and uh, I'll just need to put my hands against the basket, really. One of the, mo uh, one of the easier uh, retrieves. Uh, sometimes they can be um, a bit more problematic, especially when uh, the, there's a bit more faster speeds. You need to be, uh, you know, you need to be in place and ready to assist the pilot whenever you need, whenever he needs you. There's a nice reflection of Shep there in the water. <laughs> Just gonna see if I can get a better oh I am Hopefully, should get a nice reflection of Shep. As she comes over the water. Not sure if I can get any more, really. Ah, there you go. There's a nice reflection of her. Just as she comes over. Right. I'll climb back up the bank and get ready to catch her. I swim, yeah, I tried to get a nice reflection of her, but she's too big. <laughs> right, 
I'm in position and ready to. Yeah, look down there, Alex. Yeah. Water's so still, but you can see a reflection. I could soon make a wave in here. Yeah, I bet you could. <laughs> Good job, David Tofton isn't with you. He'd be encouraging you to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Right, ready? You don't really need me. Here she comes. Nicely over the bank. Ready for landing, guys. You hardly need me today. <laughs> I'll just go back in the truck and wait. No, no, I didn't. Look, look at that. Oh, we just might as well just stay here. <laughs> I didn't even need to stop you. I didn't even need to stop you. Yeah, I know. Multana landed over there. <laughs> That was a bit of a faster flight though, wasn't it, Gary? That was a bit of a faster flight though, wasn't it? Oh, no, it was faster. Okay. <laughs> yes, yeah. No, I didn't think it would come this far. I mean, it no. was four knots we got, five, maybe at two, that, but yeah, it was fine. It was, yeah. Yeah. I didn't think we'd get out of the village. No, I didn't think four, you would that, either. Way. Yeah. But, yeah. a nice pinball. Yeah, very nice. Right, so. Yeah. Okay then, guys, let's. Uh... I'm going to bring the truck back up here so that we're ready to pack away. Um, we're going to disassemble the balloon. <laughs> so, yeah, lovely morning. <laughs> all, uh, all good with the uh, landowner. The landowner's just over there. And uh, we're going to pull her down and... Uh... Yep, down she comes. And there we go. Nice, easy retrieve, that one. Another flight all done and dusted, and we're all retrieved, and I've just secured the field. And hopefully we're gonna go again tonight. Uh, weather looks perfect. Um, just all hinges on whether I can get a driver or not. Catch you on the next one, guys.